Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I am Josephine Kuntz and this is my little channel thing or McDoodle and I don't really know what it is, but my intro sucks, so we're just gonna get right into it. So essentially this video is gonna be kinda all over the place. We've got a little bit of my prom dress shopping, which was super, super fun. And then my sisters and I actually went to a rodeo a couple nights ago. So I have some videos and clips from that and then I'll just kinda like, talk about stuff so yeah I think that's the plan so we're gonna get right into it okay so this first dress that I'm showing you is kind of like a champagne colored and it comes down it's got like a lower neckline kind of I really really love this dress I, it's actually almost the one that I got it was like my number two choice so yeah I really really liked it it fit pretty good um, I wasn't a huge fan of how low it was in the front, so that's why I ended up not getting it. And then the color was not quite what it needed to be. Like, it didn't wash me out, but it didn't really make me look very good either. And like, if I can, I don't want to get a spray tan or anything for prom. Like, I'd rather just like, go normal. So I think that's my plan, but yeah, I did not end up with that one, but it was like a solid 8 out of 10. Hello, hello. Um, yeah, recording this over like a few days. So that explains the outfit difference and stuff. But this next dress was pink, obviously, like very, very pink. And it had some like orange stripes. So it like glowed. Is that the right word? I don't know. It glued? <laughs> Sorry. So anyway, it was very, very bright. And I mainly tried it on to humor my mother because it's like her favorite color ever. And we actually didn't have the straps correct the first time we tried on, which is that clip that you just saw of it. So I'll insert the actual clip here in just a second where we actually had the straps because we had them going like straight up while they were supposed to go off. They're like an off the shoulder kind of thing. But this dress was so, so pretty. But it, it doesn't really show it in the videos, but it was just kind of like hugging in all the wrong places. You know what I mean? So like it wasn't very flattering in person otherwise I definitely think I would have got that one because oh my gosh and the train on it wow it was it was so pretty so yeah I will show that clip again and show you the clip of the when we had the straps correct so yeah it was pretty cool though I'd give it like a solid eight or nine out of ten it was pretty good Okay, so this next yellow one was very, very pretty. I actually really liked the color a lot, but looking back at the videos, it washes me out more than I realized at the time. And so I'm, I'm kind of glad that I didn't get that one, but like I liked the fabric and the style. Like I wasn't a huge fan of how low it went in the front, um, but the back was so pretty. I had like the pretty lace, not the lace. <laughs> well, kind of. The straps, I don't know what anything is called. The little strappy things in the back, I thought those were really cute. Um, and it had pockets, which some people don't understand how nice it is to have pockets in a dress. Because otherwise you have nowhere to put your stuff. So yeah, I was really excited about the pockets. But then I discovered that it had a really high slit, as you saw in the video, which I will put again. So you can see it again. But um, yeah, it was really very pretty dress, just not for me. So that was my only complaint about that one I guess so like solid I mean if I could wear it it would have been like a 9 out of 10 but since I couldn't it's like a 7 so yeah it was pretty good though
Okay, so this white one I did really like, um, but it just, it wasn't, I, I wasn't really feeling it very much. Like, it was white, which, I mean, it was still definitely like prom dressy, but like, I don't know, I feel like white is for like wedding dresses, but that's just me. Um, the front was like kind of a really low scoop neck almost, which I'm not a huge fan of. The back of it was gorgeous, but it was missing a couple clips. That's why you saw my little sister holding it up for me. Shout out to her, she's amazing, she did great. Um, yeah, so I don't really have much to say about that one. Like it was very pretty and it made me look tan and, if, and bleh, those of you that know me, I am not tan. So, I mean, it had that going for it, but like overall, I just wasn't really thrilled with the fit and how it felt and it was just, yeah. So I'd give it like a six out of 10. I wasn't very thrilled with that one, but it was pretty, so. Okay, so again, I kind of don't really have much to say about this pink one. It was more to humor my mom because she loves pink. Um, Cause it wasn't like a style that I would be comfortable like wearing out in public, which is like my main thing. I mean, like it's a prom dress. You gotta be able to wear it in public. And if I don't feel comfortable in it, I'm not gonna wear it or be happy wearing it. Cause um, in the front it was low and then it had a slit that was quite high and it felt quite high. And then it looked quite high too. So then it was like, I, it was very pretty, very nice color. I liked the straps in the back. I like those ones that cross and stuff. Those are really cool. Um, the dress that I ended up getting actually has those and I'm very excited about it. I love the dress I'm getting, but haha, -ha, I'm not gonna show you guys what I got until like actual prom day. I, so y'all just have to wait. So yeah, just fair warning. None of these are the ones that I got, but they're all very pretty. Um, yeah, so this one was like, if the style was better, it'd been like an 8 out of 10. But since it wasn't very modest to my standards, it's like a 6 or 7. Because I definitely wouldn't want to wear it out in public. So, yeah. Okay, yeah. So, as you can kind of see from my face, I wasn't a huge fan of this one. I didn't like the style. I didn't like the color. It actually had a hole in the rear end, which is why I had my hands, like, covering it. So, yeah, it was just, it wasn't for me. I didn't like how the top, it came in, like, really far and then went up into the halter neck. I would have preferred just, like, straight out kind of thing, if that makes sense. But, yeah, it wasn't my favorite one by far. Like, I'd give it, like, a four or a three. But, yeah. Mm. Okay, I don't have much to say about this one. It was way too big for me. I literally just tried it on for the color. My mom loved the color again. You guys know that by now. So yeah, it was literally just kind of like just for fun, but it, it wouldn't have worked at all, so. Okay, and then this yellow one was also mainly just for the color. It was very pretty. The front, again, too low. It had like that mesh to hold it together, which I'm not a fan of, but that's just me. Um, yeah, I liked the back of it. The back was very pretty. The color was nice, but not on me kind of thing. Like it didn't work with my skin tone. So yeah, I don't really have a whole lot to say about that one, but yeah, it's a very pretty dress for the right person, but it wasn't just for me, so. Okay, so I'm actually like really excited to talk about this dress because it was so unique. It, yeah, it was very pretty. I loved the back. The color was great. Um, the slit in the front, however, was not. It went down like literally to my belly button and I was like, yeah, that's gonna be a solid no. But if it hadn't been for that, I think I would've got this dress because the back was, mm, it was amazing. I loved it. The color was great. It's such a unique color, I think. Like, 
sometimes girls worry about like going to prom and people having like the same color dress or the same style or even like the same dress like i don't think that would happen with this dress because it's so unique and like the color and the style in the back it was just oh it was so pretty so yeah um i put in a second clip to show the back of the dress a little better because in the first one where i did like my little spin around thing like you didn't really see much of the back very well so yeah that's what that was it's yeah but yeah, I really loved that dress. If it wasn't for the front, I do think I would have gotten that one. So like, I'm gonna rate that one like a solid nine out of 10. Okay, so this blue dress was very, very pretty. It's actually like the exact same style as that champagne colored one. I think that was the first one in my video here. Um, but it was like a size bigger, so it did fit a little different. But um, because of that, that's why I didn't get that one. Um, it was, yeah, too big and the color was great. I loved the color, but like I wasn't a huge fan of the top. I wish it would have come up a little higher, but um, yeah. So I don't really have anything bad to say about that one. It was just a little too big for like that style to really like fit well. So yeah, that's all I got about that one, so. Okay, so this is actually the last dress that I'm going to show you guys. It was very pretty, but um, I don't like the mermaid style. That's not me. It's not my favorite. I would much rather different styles. Um, I don't like that color in a dress. Um, we kind of just tried it on for the sparkles because sparkles are fun. We love sparkles. So yeah, it wasn't a very serious like try on. That was more just for fun. Um, but yeah, that's about it for the prom dresses that I've got. So yeah. Okay, so I wanted to just do a really quick half marathon update, which is going to be kind of like awkwardly at the end of this video, but whatever. We're going to go with it. So I am five weeks into my training program. It's going really good. Um, the farthest I've run so far has been nine, which was quite good actually. It was like my best run so far so it's like all the threes and fours that are getting me it's really yeah i'm getting sick of running four miles but it's okay we're working on it so i've got like a month and a half left before my run so i'm getting really excited and really pumped up about it um i have found a good uh or what's the word balance between my weightlifting and my running because I had made a lot of muscle gains before I started my half marathon training and I didn't want to lose all that because of all the cardio and stuff that I was doing. Um, so I've gotten myself on a good diet so I'm eating plenty because my metabolism has like skyrocketed since I started this. And um, yeah, so I'm continuing to make muscle gains and I'm multitasking with training for my half marathon. Half marathon so I'm very excited about all the growth and everything that's going on with my body and just working through it and I'm really excited for the race in April so yeah I think that's about all I've got for you guys um, thank you so much for watching um, if you're new to the channel hit subscribe you know all that jazz I don't need to repeat it because I hate hearing it myself so yeah thank you guys so much love the support love you guys